right now a category five storm makes its way toward the Virgin Islands. One of the major challenges that we had in Virgin Islands because we are multiple islands. We're collecting samples from the other islands, but we're having to send them back. Right now we're sending them on a seaplane. You know, following the storms, the airports are closed, there's no flights, we are doing it by boat. Uh, people just stop going to the doctor for some things, knowing they're not gonna get a result back. So we're here in St. Croix this week working with the USVI Department of Public Health because they're having trouble moving all kinds of specimens uh, rapidly and efficiently. And so we're working with them to see if drone technology might help them. We're going to launch from uh, the island of St. Croix here, go all the way to St. Thomas, which is about 40 miles away, and uh, we need to be able to keep the drone in line of sight. So we're just going to follow it with a boat that we've chartered. I think the drone that we're actually using for this test is probably the most exciting part about all of this. It's the Dusan DS-30 aircraft with the DP-30 power pack on it. It's actually powered by hydrogen fuel cell technology. And so we're talking about two hour flight times instead of the typical 25 to 35 minute flight times. It has a very high energy density, uh, three to four times uh, larger than uh, the general lithium uh, ion battery. You can't do things like this with drones that only fly for 25 or 30 minutes. It would never make the crossing. So we needed a drone that could fly for two hours, could make the 43 mile distance from island to island. And that wouldn't be possible with the current power technology that we have now. The captain's gonna set the course. Okay. And I, I think that they're confident having a tailwind, a quartering tailwind. Christian's had seaplane traffic, Skyfire drone one, be advised we are about to launch a small UAV. We're actually really excited right now because the weather this morning actually looks a lot better than it's been the past few days. This is my lucky shirt, so I'm wearing it today for our big adventure. The most important thing is uh, temperature control. The payload actually has a special foam and a special construction. I'm good Last location was 17 miles offshore, and that's tracking my iPad for the so. Oh, 18 miles now. I just got an update. Okay. 18 miles. So they're just shy of halfway, and yeah. we're at 48 minutes right now. Landed, Landed about miles. seven minutes ago. Oh. Oh. Yes! Nice job. Yes. They landed. It was about, <laughs> took about an hour and 38 minutes from takeoff to touchdown. We just got confirmation from uh, the USVI police department who is helping us do the landing that they landed about seven minutes ago. So, The credo of Dusan Group is based upon people. So we are very much uh, happy to use this drone for humanitarian purposes.